Hello, welcome to Reso Coder. You probably already know the basic differences between developing in Xamarin Android and native development in Android Studio. Just to summarize, Xamarin is cross-platform and even when you choose to use Xamarin Android instead of Xamarin Forms, you can still share the main chunk of your code which is not dealing with OS-specific stuff with iOS application. This means that if being cross-platform is your only concern, you probably have a winner. However, I feel that for many developers this isn't the case. For example, I am developing only for Android and I started with Xamarin Android only because I already knew C Sharp. C Sharp combined with the .NET framework form a powerful and in my opinion a beautiful tool for developers to use and that is certainly a plus for Xamarin. Other than the c -sharp language and .NET framework, which I am quite a bit biased about, Xamarin has actually a lot of problems, which can cause a fair bit of trouble when developing your apps. First of all, if you ever want to use a library which is not released by Google or any other library which is actually supported by Xamarin themselves, you are mostly out of luck. The choice of libraries is very limited and while you can bind libraries written in Java to C Sharp and to learn how check out the link in the video description, but doing so creates just another step which you need to make if you wanna use that library. And keep in mind that you need to go through that process every time when you want to update the library. With Android Studio and Gradle the process of adding a library to your project couldn't be simpler. You just copy and paste one line of text and you are good to go. Also, the layout designer is a bit lacking in Xamarin. While in Android Studio you can use constraint layout without a problem and the designer is running smoothly, in Xamarin Android it's an entirely different story. The price for the better XML editor also belongs to the Android Studio. As with many other things, it's not that Xamarin's XML editor is unusable, it's just that the one in Android Studio is better. One example is that when you change the opening tag, the closing tag changes automatically. Or when you create a new view, it automatically adds the always present width and height tags for you. Yes, these are only small additions, but they immensely speed up the development process. Now you might be considering to at least take a look at Android Studio. And if you want to develop your Android apps natively, you need to use Java. Or do you? Actually, at Google I.O. 2017, Kotlin was announced to be the official language for Android development. Which language should you choose then? Java or Kotlin? Since you are probably a C-sharp developer, the obvious choice might be Java. After all, c -sharp was initially kind of a clone of Java. I don't want to start any common wars here, but c -sharp has become a language which is much better than Java, however the similarity is still there. I have to say that you won't do yourself any harm if you choose Java. As of recording this video, almost all of the documentation, guides and tutorials are written or recorded in Java. Many developers, or actually most of the developers, are still using Java and as a C-sharp developer you should be able to get up to speed pretty quickly. What's up with Kotlin then? Should you forget about it and pretend like it never existed? Definitely no. My first programming language was C-sharp. I learned it because of Unity and then I went to develop apps with Xamarin. I slowly started to realize all of the shortcomings of Xamarin I've mentioned previously and I wanted to try what was it like to develop in Android Studio. Java would have been an easier choice for sure but I've chosen Kotlin. Yeah, I've gotta admit it was partly because Kotlin is all new and shiny, but actually it was mostly because the more I looked at it, the more I realized that Kotlin is just plain superior. When you are coming from a C-sharp background, there are a few quirks in its syntax which you need to get used to, but otherwise I would say that Kotlin is more C-sharp-like than Java is. And also, Kotlin is interoperable with Java. This means that you can call Java code from Kotlin or vice versa. So there is no problem with that. For example, Java doesn't have properties, but Kotlin does have them. So while in Java you would call getter and setter methods for a field, in Kotlin these methods are automatically converted to properties, which is pretty awesome. So what are those differences which you need to get used to when you are coming from a C-sharp background? I would say that the biggest difference is the non-enforced use of semicolons. You can use them, but you don't have to. I still catch myself typing a semicolon from time to time. Jokes aside, the constructors are completely different in Kotlin. You have a primary constructor, which is only comprised of the parentheses containing all of the parameters. Then there is an initializer, which acts like the body of the constructor. 
secondary constructors look pretty much the same as in C-sharp. When I first saw this, I was confused and also kind of scared. After some time though, I came to realize that Kotlin's approach is actually better. One of the awesome things is that you can declare properties right inside the constructor and then later use them in the whole class. The last difference which I'm gonna mention in this video is the Kotlin's push toward non-nullability. You can still have nullable types, but you need to explicitly specify their nullability. A C-sharp analogy would be that all of the types in Kotlin act like value types in C-sharp. You can make them nullable, but you need to tell the compiler first. This is also a pretty cool feature, but you need to get used to it. There are also similarities between Kotlin and C-sharp, and one of them is the ability to use lambdas out of the box. In Kotlin you can even use Java-like anonymous classes. In Kotlin they are called objects. This is useful when you are creating listeners. When the listener has only one method, it can be automatically converted to a lambda. For example, this is the case with the onClick listener. If the listener has multiple methods, you need to use an object which is gonna implement the desired interface. So is native Android development with Android Studio and Kotlin right for you? If you only want to create Android apps and you already know C Sharp, you really cannot go wrong by learning another language. It's still Android development, so everything you already know will be present and the only thing you'll have to learn is the language. If you've had some problems with Xamarin or if you just noticed a couple of deficiencies which make you less productive, you should definitely jump right into Android Studio and at least give it a try. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped you. It's a new style for this channel so I hope you like it. If you do, give this video a like and also share it. Subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you won't miss any of my new videos. Leave a comment, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.